Good morning from Energylandia here in Poland. We've arrived for our first foreign theme park trip of 2021. Oh my god, it's so nice. <laughs> Just walking over here and seeing Charlotte's reaction to seeing Hyperion. I can't believe it. I didn't realise it was that big. It's <laughs> absolutely massive. It is huge. And I tell you what, Charlotte, you're going to be riding some beasts over the next few yes, days. Yes, I'm prepared. Of course, Hyperion and the massive Intamin mega coaster. You've got Zardra, a big RMC, <laughs> over 200 foot tall. Crazy. Uh, along with that as well, we're going to be checking out Aqualantis, their brand new themed area that actually only opened last week. And a brand Brand new coaster, Abyssus, and I can't wait for long. that. We thought as soon as that opened and restrictions eased, we thought we've got to come out here to Poland and check 100%. it out. 100%, I'm so excited to see the park. The fact that Charlotte's never been here before, this is actually my third time, but of course, seeing the new area, Aqualantis, checking all of that out and getting on the new coaster. But we've got so much to pack in today. Uh, park hours are 10 through until 8 o'clock today. Yeah, it's 8 o'clock tonight. Um, but you never know, it might get extended. It got extended yesterday, so fingers crossed. We will see what happens. But come and join us here from Energylandia in Poland and the sun's shining, Get me on the Hyperion. coasters are warming up. This is it, honestly, I can't wait to see Charlotte's reactions to some of the rides here. So come and join us, let's go and get in. Welcome to the park when you come in and see all this entertainment. This is exactly what we miss back home in the UK. A big welcome like this, I love it. The party's just started, I can't wait. Honestly, I absolutely love all the entertainment when you come into Energylandia. It's pretty awesome. And what's Charlotte got over here then? I've got the GoPro and you actually get a little sticker now to say that it's been passed off by security. How awesome is that? Yeah, like, really That's good. a great system. He gave it a good light like, touch yeah, to make sure it was okay. It and you get a little GoPro sticker with it. <laughs> it was there for about two minutes, like going around yeah. it, checking it all off. But that's what we want, nice and secure. Let's head down to the back of the park because that's my best advice if you come in here. Go down to the back. People get, um, they see high yeah. period. <laughs> hey, you it's go so on that. weird when you come to a park for the first time because you don't really know what there is and you're like, oh my god, look at that, there's a booster. <laughs> I know, yeah, there's all sorts of different rides. Zarge was just going up down there. Oh. And yeah, like I was saying, you want to be going down to the back first. People get really, really cool. sort of, oh, they see Hyperion and think, I want to ride that. Go down to the back of the park, especially now you've got Aqualantis down there as well, the new area. And I reckon that's where we'll go first. There's loads in there, you're just amazed seeing it all for the yeah, first time. It's, it's a bit overwhelming, isn't it, when you come somewhere for the first time? It is a I big park. <laughs> we'll see you down here, let's uh, head down to Aqualantis. So of course Energylandia is a huge park, it's about a 15 minute walk down to the other end. Oh and Charlotte over God. here is amazed. What are you the looking at? The rides are so big, the RMC is absolutely huge. 206 foot I tall. Think it was that this. Look at that Zardra, honestly, that thing is massive. It's even taller than the Steel Vengeance oh at Cedar Point. Oh my god. Oh, I think you're going to love it. But yeah, it's a big walk down here. You actually cross under the road to come down to this side. Absolutely massive. But so far, I absolutely love it. I think it's really nice. Nice theming. Rides look excellent. Oh, honestly, you are in for a treat. And yeah, we've actually got another coaster under construction. There we go, Vacoma Mine Train. That's being built for next year. Um, Choco Chip Creek. Oh, chicken bucket down here. <laughs> it's amazing. Of course, that's going to be part of the uh, Sweet Valley themed area. There's so much going on. Chicken bucket. But well, yeah, we're finally down here at the entrance. These chicken it's buckets. Chicken bucket. <laughs> I've been telling Charlotte all about these chicken buckets. And I know she's really excited it's for them. I'll show you what it is on the sign just over here, literally. There you go, you buy a bucket of chicken, and stuff's really cheap out here in Poland. Oh look, at God, look at that. We'll get one and we'll get it in the vlog. <laughs> oh, here we go. This is the moment that I've really been looking forward to. Getting here into the new themed area. It only opened last week. Stepping into Aqualantis. Lots of brand new rides to enjoy down here. Not just the huge Vacoma Shockwave coaster, Abyssus, that you can see down there. You've got another Vacoma coaster just over here, another family boomerang. Here we go, and it comes up into this section here. Honestly, this park, it is ridiculous how much they've been expanded. Yeah, there's a boat ride through the area, and of course it is Aqualanta, so there's lots of water throughout the area. 
Got a Zampilla disco just here as well. The colours are really nice. I like the colour scheme. Yeah, it's a really vibrant park. Nice coloured track. Going to head down this way and find the entrance now, of course. Over for Abyssus. Now, in terms of the baggage situation here, you can't take bags up into the station. You do need a locker, um, but you get like a locker wristband and you can use that so all we day. Just looked it up. It's like seven Polish slotties I've got to get used to. Um, and yeah, that's valid all day. You get like a wristband. It's not too bad. No, it? so that's it's like less than two pounds. So pretty cheap, really. But here we go. We've made it down to our first ride. Like I say, it's literally 15, 20 minute walk down here to get to the entrance. Is this the uh, way down to Abyssus? I think it could be under the archway. I must say the theming around this area, they've done a very good job with it. Now oh, here's the lockers over at the right hand side and the entrance I imagine down here. So from this point on we will be, of course, with the uh, GoPro. Don't have a clue where the entrance is yet. Well, I think they're the lockers for Tidal Twister, but it doesn't matter because obviously there's lockers all around the park. So tell you what, we'll find out where we're going. There's a big area to walk around, it's huge. Oh, I've been waiting to see this sign for a while. We've found the entrance to Abyssus. Look at the station up there. The music's playing, the waterfalls are coming down. Really excited to get on this. We're waiting for riders. Literally, get to the back of the park if you come in here. So what are you going to be experiencing on this, Charlotte? Two launches, Woo! four inversions. Yes! Honestly, these new Vekoma coasters are pretty incredible. You're going to be getting on some great ones this trip. Oh, Let coaster as well at Legendia. You're going to be getting on that. Oh. Excited, loads today. Vekoma have come a long way since the olden days of the Boomerang and the SLC. Here we go. Oh, here we go. Look at the train. Love how it's designed like a boat at the front as well. Absolutely awesome, can't wait for this. We're on the back car. We didn't go on the direct backed road because I thought we we're going to get a better view for the GoPro on this road just here. So come and join us. It's time to ride Abyssus, brand new Vekoma Shockwave. Sitting down for the first ever time on this. No messing around with the dispatch there. We are off, here we go. Coaster number one of 17 here at Energylandia. This park opened in 2014, it is mad. Here we go, you ready Charlotte? Ready. This is it. Hey. Smooth start. Very twisty. Hey, here we go. Woo! Oh, quite a nice snappy launch there. Oh! Woo -hoo -hoo! That was very smooth, very long, and really enjoyable. Right then, so we just stepped off our first ever ride on this brand new Vekoma coaster. It's a business here at Energylandia, just coming round into the break run. I'll tell you what, how was that? I really enjoyed that. Such a long layout, it was so smooth, it was just a brilliant family coaster. Oh, together. I loved it. Yeah, I think it's like family thrill I class that Definitely, as. Yeah. You know, it rode exactly as I was expecting. It's so smooth. Long layout. The first launch had more kick than I was expecting. I wasn't a big fan of the trims. You could definitely feel you the feel trims it go like right out the top just there. You could feel it slow down definitely, quite a bit. Yeah. Um, but don't get me wrong, it was great. I probably enjoyed the back wing the most on there, and I liked how snappy it was. Then left to right transitions. It's got a very intimate style layout, even though it's a Vekoma. Very kind of, you know, Taron esque with <laughs> what is this music? <laughs> with, you know, it's whipping left to right. It's not very intense. It's not really that forceful. But you know what? I really enjoyed it. Yeah, I thought it was brilliant. Love great to get on and like the surrounding area is really good. The theming's really good. You can tell towards the end of the ride there's still a bit of theming work to be done and maybe putting some more water around the area. It's I don't like know if you noticed that. It's like you something you did from like a yoghurt commercial. Yeah, it is, isn't it? Like a TV commercial of uh, some form. Anyway, but whilst around here, there's another new coaster to get on. It's the park's second Vekoma family boomerang. They've got two at 
this place. Let's go and have a ride. It's a Light Explorer, I think this one's called. Here we go then, towards the back of the train on Light Explorer. And I tell you what, look at the view. You've got a nice little boat ride down here. There is so much to see in Aqualantis. And oh my God, that view is spectacular. Oh, that is beautiful. And there's so many nice bars and restaurants. And honestly, there's so much around in this area. Here we go. Woo! the views guys honestly it, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Woo. oh it's quite a good oh, one quite this intense. yeah really nice Wee. they love a good coma at this park love all the water throughout the area i mean i know it's aquilantis i was expecting lots of water but there's more than i thought and i think it looks great throughout the whole area and there we go that was good fun wasn't it it's quite intense actually yeah i'd say that's one of the better ones actually of those that i've done it's better than the other one that they've got here it's crazy they've got two it's ridiculous on ride footage there from light explorer oh that was really good fun pretty intense actually in some areas as well more than i was expecting yeah really nice family coaster down here in the area did you enjoy your ride on there yeah i'd say that's probably one of the nicest like picturesque ones i've been on going over the water and stuff it was really nice but it was quite intense actually yeah it was yeah i was quite surprised but uh, no really nice location for it of course we're on the little boat ride that runs around aqualantis now grotto expedition this is called and yeah i thought we'd come on here whilst we're in the area just have a quick uh, refresh after doing a couple of rides before we go on the beast that is Zardra. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I can't wait. Now, you've got the Zampola Disco over here, and we will have a ride on it at some point over the next few days. We thought we'll get on the main stuff first and wanted to see the boat ride because, of course, it does run throughout the area. I'm not too sure on the theming, though, just here. I mean, I think they've done a fantastic job with the theming throughout all of this area. Other than the Zampola Disco, I'm not too sure. I think it wouldn't have been too bad if they'd have painted it like the blue, like that one over there. I can't tell if that's just support structure and they're going to attach stuff to it or not, maybe. Um, because you've got to think, you know, with the pandemic, um, it's already been pushed back a year, this area. So maybe there's just a delay to the theming, they're going to attach boards on, or maybe that is the look of it and it's like a kind of dockyardy feel. I'm not too sure on that. But uh, anyway, we'll carry on round on the boat ride. Nice boats on here, look at these, big uh, 10 seaters. And of course, you've got like the little uh, motor on the back just there, all part of the theming, of course, doesn't actually power you around. But yeah, really enjoyable. And of course, you've got some big themed structures around here as well, such as this that Light Explorer goes through. A little bit of footage there from Grotto Expedition over in the new themed area of Aqualantis. Brilliant area. Yeah, I feel like that ride needs a little bit of audio. It's a bit quiet. Or a dark ride section. Yeah. That would have really made it a little dark ride section. A bit like Merlin's Quest at Toverland. Well, again, I suppose it is quite nice on the right to have a look around the area. So is it needed? You get a great view around the area, it's peaceful, it's relaxing. And talking of the area, there's still so much more to see around there in terms of flat rides, isn't there? Yeah. Well, the time has come, we've left Aqualantis. I'm nervous. It's time for Charlotte to ride the beast that is Zardra for the first time. I was just saying to her in the queue off camera, there's nothing like coming on a ride like this for the first time. So big. Going on it, 206 foot tall, three inversions. It's a massive RMC, and we're going to take you on with the GoPro. Is Charlotte's it going to be number side. one? Is it going to be a new record for Who knows? But like, well, this is an absolute beast of a ride. In terms of the queue time, advertised 10 minutes. That's just the 10 minutes it takes to walk the queue. This queue is huge. It's massive, isn't it? But so, uh, what are your first impressions from Energy Landia so far? I think it's a really nice park. I think it's absolutely lovely. And it's it's humongous as well. Massive. You need like a little go-kart or something to go around. Honestly, like, it'd be crazy. Luckily, they have opened some of the gates now. You don't have to walk around quite as much of Zarja's queue yeah. as you used to. Yeah, they've got like the little sprinklers as well to oh. cool you down. But here we go. This is it. Charlotte's first time on Zarja. Here we go. It's a big RMC, this. The time has come. This is only Charlotte's second RMC. There she is. How are you feeling? And the best thing is, we're right near the back. Second row from the back. Look at the view. Oh, blimey. 206 foot tall. 
massive RMT coaster. And we're nearly there, it's time for Sardra, here we go. Oh, blimey. Honestly, Charlotte said when we saw the train oh coming, God, just man. why are people wiping their eyes? It was <laughs> It's got air time, it's got intensity. That is the ride, isn't it? That's the one. Oh, Zardra. Honestly, Charlotte loved it. Oh. So we have just stepped off Zardra and that was incredible. Honestly, <laughs> it's going to take a good ride to top that. That is absolutely incredible. The whole layout was just phenomenal. It's got so much number packed one, in. Number one. Uh, you loved it, didn't you? Charlotte's screaming. I was going around like, woo, 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 woo. <laughs> What did you enjoy the most on there? To be honest, the whole thing from start to finish, absolutely incredible that is. I'm glad that you loved it. I didn't find it too intense either. No, I'm quite surprised. Oh my God, I was I was whooping and everything. Uh, you absolutely loved it. So the only other RMC that Charlotte's done was Untamed I at Wallaby Holland. I was a fan of that because, because of how much air time there is, it was quite painful on the legs, whereas this is not loads of air time. But Just a nice amount. Wow. I, I can't get over it, I'm lost for words. For me, what really makes this ride is of course, the fact that you've got the huge drop that drops down into the structure itself, so it's hidden away, and then you get to the bottom and it bangs to the right. I, I, honestly, I can't believe it. <laughs> it's ridiculous, this thing. And then, of course, coming up straight into the Zero G stall. Honestly, it's an incredible ride. I loved it that much. I'm going back round. Well, you know what, Charlotte? You'll be happy. If you've been running one train, they've yeah, just sure. played the announcement saying, we're adding a second train to Zardra. Yeah. So we're going on again. Yeah. Why not? Like, let's go and have a ride on Zardra again. Charlotte's new top coaster. Getting a t-shirt from the I can't believe it. Like, that is your favorite coaster now anywhere in the world like honestly she came with the brake run and she was like that is a top coaster Straight away, like it's sometimes you might have to ride it like a couple of times that i knew as soon as i come down there i was on top coaster. was it worth knew. flying to poland for that oh my god yes there you go if you're watching this and you're debating oh shall yes. we go shall we not do it you've heard it straight from charlotte there well, we only waited 15 minutes for a second ride on Zardra, and honestly, that coaster is epic. I'm so pleased you loved it. It's the gift that keeps on giving that ride. It's <laughs> absolutely unbelievable. She just won't stop going on about it really walking down here. Oh, I'm so pleased that you enjoyed it. I knew you would. What are we going on now then, Charlotte? Hyperion. Yes, we're going to head down to Hyperion. Advertised wait time of 30 minutes, so not too bad, really. Good to see that over the past couple of years since I last came here, the trees are all growing a bit more as well. That's something that I remember saying last time. We can't wait for the landscaping to grow a bit more, and it certainly is. But uh, yeah, we're going to head down to Hyperion now. This is a huge ride here at the park. It's the tallest, and honestly, you're going to love it, I think. It's quite intense. I'm not too good with the intense rides. You were fine on Zardra though, I don't so. Think it was too intense. It was a little bit different being on the other seat, but no, it doesn't think it was too intense. Charlotte is loving this park so far. Yeah, I'm going to make a big statement. I think it's my favourite part in Europe. That's crazy. Like, she, it's got a really happy, feel good atmosphere here There's as well. So much here. Misters around as well to keep you cool. The coaster looks good as well. Yeah, certainly in for a busy one. I'm glad we've got three days here at the park because um, it's busier certainly than I've seen it before, but it is summer holidays now. So as expected, but yeah, 30 minute advertise for Hyperion. We'll have a ride on there before we get some lunch, I think. Right then, so our bags are in the locker. That's the thing with Hyperion. Your bags have to go in the locker before you join the queue. So it's like, we have got to go without your phones and stuff now, which isn't the best, but it means you can be more social, doesn't it? Yeah. <laughs> when you're talking to your friends and girlfriends, and yeah, yeah, that's the great thing about it. You know, you're not just looking at your phone all the time. But yeah, I do like all the theming around here. Of course, back on the GoPro now. 
advertised 40 it was on the door so it's gone up 10 minutes from what we originally looked at but it's worth it it's a big ride it's like huge it's a multi-story car park <laughs> yeah, it actually is isn't it walking around with like a nice strip lights but here we go we'll uh, get on into the station for hyperion one of Intamin's best ever rides, this in my opinion. I love it, it's fast, it's intense, it's got an amazing drop into a tunnel. It's pretty spectacular. And I can't wait to hear what uh, Charlotte thinks to this one. From one big ride to another for you today, what a park. Here we go then, waiting to ride Hyperion. Yep. We've waited about 35. It wasn't too bad actually. Here we go, yeah, very blue in here. I'm blue dabba dee dabba da. Waiting for the doors to open just here that'll take us into the station and we should be on the back row. We should be. Looking forward to this, it's an intense ride. <laughs> it's a back row ride. Let's get on Hyperion. And we got a dispatch. And of course here on Hyperion, you got tiered seating as well. So I've got in the middle just here, Charlotte's down there. Hello. You're looking forward to this? Yes. It's a fast lift deal. Whoa. Oh. Now from what I remember last time, we did have quite a rattle towards the back. But you know why, it was fast, it was intense. And this drop is absolutely huge. Nice. <laughs> you can see the Western camp over there in the distance. That's where we're staying this trip. Check out the travel blog if you've not seen it. My ears have even popped. Oh, here we go. This is it. I'm in the turn it on for summer. Oh my god! Look at Charlotte! <laughs> oh god! Right then, so we just had our nice back row ride there on Hyperion. Soaked. <laughs> what did you think to the ride? Um, I liked it, but I thought for me it was a bit too intense and there was quite a bit of a rattle on the back of the train as well. Yeah, you were on the outer seat. I was on the so. outer seat so you could feel the rattle, but I nearly blacked out at the bottom of the drop. It's intense, it that thing. really intense. I love yeah. it. I think it's a fantastic ride, but I, I can predict what Charlotte's probably going to like. I knew she'd love Zardra. I thought Hyperion she'd enjoy, but not as yeah. much as Zardra. But anyway, like, I'm glad that you've been on it. Yeah, you've done really good, some yeah. awesome rides this morning haven't really we good. what have we got now then charlotte well we've got the chicken bucket that we was on about here we go here's the bucket so let's see a bucket full of chicken just in also, there if anybody knows me <laughs> bought the mayonnaise bought the mayonnaise definitely not I've from weather spoons at stanstead and i've also got i finally got one of these pepsi lime mint so we're going to try that but yeah for a bucket of chicken two fries two drinks it was 10 pounds like it's cheap it's for theme park right. food it's really let's cheap this. let's see what it's like oh we're going for straight in with a review oh, doesn't smell good here we go. Let's see what it's like. We should be having one back at the camp. <laughs> oh, it's very strange. She's going for it. Oh, she really needs a second uh, second drink there. What, what are we thinking? It tastes like Mentos. It's quite nice actually. There you quite go. Oh, I quite like it. Chicken bucket. I can't wait. There you go. Right, let's tuck in and we'll get on some more rides this afternoon. Lovely. Oh, well, I'll tell you what, it is hot now today, isn't it? I know, it's really warm now. Oh, I enjoyed my lunch though, I really like the chicken bucket. I don't think Charlotte was that big of a fan. I wasn't a big fan <laughs> of the chicken bucket, it was a bit tense. Oh, you know? I really liked it to be honest, I thought they were nice. It could have been warmer. The chips but, was really nice. Yeah, I enjoyed it for the price that we paid, can't complain at all. Anyway, it's nice and warm. You know what I'm feeling? You're not a doing big this water ride. Again, the tallest water ride you'll have ever been on. There we go. No. We're going on speed water coaster now. Looking forward to this. It's absolutely it massive. Is warm though, Look so. at that. Yeah, you're in for this one. We'll take you on with the GoPro. If you're on the front of this, it's an absolute soaker. So let's see where we're going to get put. Let's go and ride one. speed. <laughs> massive this thing again, built by Interbin. So it was an advertised wait time of 40 minutes for the speed water coaster. And of course it starts off going down the trough there and you make your way up the huge 
lift hill just there. Vertical lift hill all the way up to the top where you get some pretty incredible views. Love the design of that, of course, manufactured by Intamin. And yeah, looking forward to this. You excited, Charlotte? No. Oh, I think she's going to absolutely love it. I am quite worn, though, so a nice cool down will be good. I think it'll be good, this one. Here we go. It's time for speed water coaster. Let's set the cannons off. Whoa, nearly hit Zardra. Here we go then on the speed water coaster. Hey Charlotte, how are you feeling? No. <laughs> well, at least you're not on the front row. That's oh, where I you, won't go on the front row. You get absolutely soaked. It comes right over a massive I'm wave. Sorry, We're near the back, so I think you'll be okay. The seats don't look too bad. No, yeah, got a nice little lap bar just down here. Do a lap bar check for you. Yeah, you're secure. <laughs> back at Legoland. Um, we yeah, carry on around this way, only for about another 30 seconds or so. Then we, of course, join up onto the vertical lift hill that takes us up. Here we go then, so we're now just engaging onto the lift hill just here and of course for throughput reasons as we go up, the boat that's just ahead of us, the lift comes back down for them. That's why it's on a little angle like that and here we go, we got some great views all across the park. Oh, it's Zarja over there. Oh, you're right there Charlotte. <laughs> Look at the views though. Look at uh, Hyperion back there. Oh, here we go. Oh, she's holding on. It's a big tall water ride, this one. We're actually up here now over 160 feet on this Intamin Beauty. My ears have popped again. What is it with my ears popping today? Look at all that expansion room. About another 20 coasters coming. Here we go. We'll get you on the front row another day then. Always go too far. Speed water coaster. It's a soaker on the front. It's not too bad. Yeah, a bit further back. It's a light sprinkle, viewers. A light sprinkle. <laughs> Oh, nice on ride POV there from the speed water coaster. I was a bit nervous going up the lift up because it was like this. Yeah, because of course, you know, it has to move to one side with that boat going up and allowing for the other lift to come back down. Amazing views from up there though. I was kind of covering my eyes. I pretty much dried off already now. Yeah, we didn't get that wet. Should have got on the front row, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe whilst we're here over the next few days, I've got to try and get her on the front you row. You can go on the front row. <laughs> anyway, we're going to head down towards Formula now. Another nice big Vacoma roller coaster. Just wanted to mention as well, uh, the coronavirus virus kind of restrictions if you like here yeah. um, no mask required on any ride in shops or anything really no mask filling up the trains as normal it feels really like normal here doesn't yeah, it today yeah, kind of like how restrictions have eased back home feels just like that here in Poland at the moment but I tell you what you got some really nice music it's a great atmosphere there's so much food at this part oh, there's, loads. Like, there's ice cream stalls there's pizza there's whatever you want you can pretty much get here you can walk around with a beer here as well you can. I know a lot of people like a good uh, like yard of beer or something but uh, yeah we're gonna head around towards another great Vacoma coaster now uh, and that is formula blimey it's busy around in this little area everyone's getting some lunch here we go then straight round to formula advertised wait time of 30 minutes so this opened here in 2016 it features three inversions and this is Vacoma space warp so yeah I think you'll really enjoy this yeah, it looks really good, basically a mini abyssus in a way oh, that's, <laughs> that's the thing with this part yeah. they love putting things in that are very similar to each other of course I've done this many times before and abyssus is definitely the next step up and of course that's classed as a shockwave model um, from Vacoma well this is still a fantastic ride really enjoy it it's quite a short layout but it's fun it's snappy um, it's not too intense or anything but yeah it's got some uh, nice inversions and of course that great Vacoma train design but I tell you what the weather is nice today we've got a bit of uh, queue jumping been going on the queue jump is not been <laughs> I feel like we're back at Port Ventura with yeah. the queue jumping today there's a bit a uh, bit of queue jumping going on around at this bar but here we go yeah advertise wait 30 minutes let's go and get over on formula another great Vacoma tell you what they've come a long way over the years Here we go then, so we only waited about 20 minutes there for our ride on Formula and we got on the back row. We were close to getting a front, but yeah, we're on the back. 
For some of the rides here though, you can wait for the front if you want to. And here we go. Woo! Oh, it's smoky. that one literally it's a mini abyss of that quite intense though actually and the first launch is pretty snappy on there so we just had an awesome back row ride over on formula in fact you're gonna see it just launch again behind us what do you think to that i really like that oh, there she goes had quite a lot of force. You said something really interesting, didn't you, about that and of course Abyssus. This is more forceful. Yeah, I completely agree. As much as Abyssus is a much bigger ride and there's more to it, there's two that launches. No, this is actually more forceful than Abyssus. Yeah. It's got a real good kick to it. It's a fantastic ride. Like I've said this before, but I'd love to see something like this come to the UK. Yeah, it'd be really nice to see. One of these new generation for Coma Coasters would be perfect for a part like Drayton Manor or Flamingo Land, maybe even Lightwater Valley, Oakwood. Parks like that would benefit from something like Definitely. this massively back home. Now, but Sean, go on. would you like an ice cream? I would love an ice cream, Charlotte. Let's get an ice cream. Why not? There's so much food here. Charlotte's already found like pasta, I jacket found potatoes. I jacket potato. I can't believe it. It works out like two pound as well. So. What a bargain. Yeah, let's go and get an ice cream. Why not? <laughs> oh, look at that. There we go. Thanks so much, Charlotte. Got two lodges. Not two, two lotties, that's what they are, yeah. It was like 12 slotty, just over two pound for two yeah, ice creams. Not bad, is it? In a theme park, like honestly, what would you pay normally at a theme park with two big ice creams like that? About five quid. Five, six quid maybe, honestly. Oh yes, yeah, gonna tuck into that beauty. Oh, that ice cream was absolutely divine. Nick in Charlotte's words now, how do you feel? Unbelievable. Stealing your words, but that was nice. We went for just a nice plain vanilla, didn't we? Yeah, well, Nice themed toilets. Oh, you're to the toilet, are you? Nice themed toilets. So much to see you at this point. You have a nice wee, I'll see you in a minute. But so, yeah, lots of different rides to enjoy down here. And up next, we're going to make our way over to Roller Coaster Mayan, which is, of course, the SLC just over there. It's not an uncomfortable SLC, this one, though, because, of course, it's got them new style Vekoma trains on there that are much better than the old ones. Here we go then, down to the station area. We're going to join the queue for Mayan Roller Coaster. Can I just point out for you here? Go on. We have an SLC right here, which is bleh. And then over the back, we have a lovely <laughs> RMC coaster called Sandra. What a ride. To be honest though, Charlotte, this ride isn't yeah, too, yeah. too bad because of the trains. Well, you know Wallaby Holland, Condor, oh, that's now got these trains. Fantastic news. So when we can return to the Netherlands again and visit Wallaby Holland, yeah, we won't be in as much pain. Oh, you get good views of Zarja from down here. Here you go, advertised wait time, only 10 minutes. The throughputs here are really good and operations are great too, so can't complain really. Looks like it's uh, going to rain over there in the distance. I mean, it's not gave out any rain today, but who knows? I mean, it's nice and warm, I know that. Oh, look at that view of Zardra. She is a beauty, isn't she? But yeah, here we go. It's going right on the SLC. It's a very brightly coloured track on this one. Let's go. Nice cheeky 10 minute wait there then for the Mayan roller coaster. Two trains in service. Great operations, can't complain. We're on the back row. Normally on an SLC, you would not see me riding on the back row, but on this one, I don't mind because it's very comfortable because of the wonderful train design. Yeah, of course, with this, really comfortable. Um, yes, it's got the vest over the shoulders, um, but you've got nothing to bash your ears on, like your standard SLC restraint. So I think you're going to be all right here, Charlotte. Yeah. Great view down there of our baby. Oh, there she is. Zodra. Gorgeous. <laughs> here we go. What a great view. The back row, so it's going to be a good whippersnapper, this one. Here we go. Much more comfortable. Whee! Yeah. SLC. Ah. Whee! Ah. Woo! Oh, lovely. At least it's not an air banker. Whee! Whee! <laughs> Charlotte's making some funny noises thanks to me here. Uh, I enjoyed that. <laughs> there you go, that's the Mayan roller coaster. Very bright colour scheme, red supports and an orange track. Would you class that as an orange track? Or would you class them as pink supports? I don't know, I think it's faded a bit over the years. 
Just had an awesome back row ride there on the SLC. I quite enjoyed it to be honest, pretty comfortable. I don't know how to feel about it because being on a different restraint, like it felt a bit weird because my restraint was pushed down really tight as well. It's better than an ear basher though. Yeah, my ears are nice and secure, which is nice. <laughs> we both nearly had a little fall in the station. Yeah, we did. <laughs> normally, it's quite funny because I warned Charlotte. I fell a bit, then I warned I Charlotte, and you did it. Basically, normally on that style of ride, you have a lower room floor in the station. With that one, it's just got a little dip instead. So we both tripped. We both nearly tripped up in the station. <laughs> Gift shop. We might be experts riding roller coasters all the time, but we still do silly things sometimes, don't we? I think everybody does. Anyway, I think we're off to see a show shortly, freshen things up a little bit. Gift They've got shop. a massive stunt show here, and it starts in about 10 minutes, so we're going to head straight over that way now and go and check out the show. But yeah, again, just wanted to say, you know, I was really expecting us to have to wear face coverings in shops and stuff over here, and, and it's really not the case now, which is quite surprising actually. I thought, you know, we, it would be kind of stricter here than back home now, but exactly the same, really. Yeah, definitely. Right, Great. let's head over and we'll go and see the stunt show. This is pretty action packed, this Charlotte. Fun. Yeah, there's all sorts we can film. It's a big outdoor arena. You can see a couple of thousand there. It's quite a big one. So we'll head over there and put in some footage over the next few minutes. Time for our first show of the trip. Here we go then. So this is where we head into Extreme Energy Landia. Of course, you've got four different shows on today, and there's a lot of different entertainment to catch here at the park. So there's actually a brand new high diving show down in Aqualantis. So we might check that out today. If not, we'll definitely see it on one of the other days whilst we're here but over the next few minutes time for a stunt show it's yeah it's very action packed this. there's not much talking and stuff in between like. straight into it get the stunts and there's normally some good pyrotechnics in this as well so here's some highlights coming up from extreme energy landia Oh 
guys there from Extreme Energy Landia, and that was pretty awesome. Yes, Love that. Really good stunts in there. The big truck coming out was my favourite. I, I couldn't believe that. 20 minute show, action packed, no storyline, not too much talking, just straight into it. You sit down, all the stunts happen, and then you're out again. Yeah, and then you get a nice card yeah. at the exit, and then the people who was in the show actually sign it at the end, which is quite nice. And that's all free. There's literally a lady just handing them out, and then you can get it signed by the cast. Which How awesome is that? There's so much to see here at Energy Landia, but we're back over now in the new themed area of Aqualantis because we really fancy another go on Abyssus, don't yes, we? Yes, we do. So we're going to do that, 20 minute wait, maybe do the um, high dive show whilst we're down yeah. here. I think that might be on shortly and possibly do the disco as well. But uh, it seems to be the family rides are busier than some of the big rides. Yeah, really busy, some of the family rides Some are. of the junior coasters are on like 30 minutes, whereas Zardra is on 20. What a beauty. And same with Abyssus. So yeah, like Frida down there, that's 30 minutes. Crazy. Crazy. But yeah, we'll head down here back into Aqualantis. As we mentioned earlier on, you can tell now that the theming isn't quite finished around in this area. Yeah, you got the little uh, spinning fire truck ride just there as well. Nice standard flat ride that you can find at quite a few parks. It's called Burning Engine, that one just yeah, here. You found quite a good point on the map. Go on. Parts Vampire Disco. Ah, yes. But on this, it's actually got like theming on it. There you go, yeah, that's like the concept art. There's all like um, brickway archways over the top. So it's definitely coming. And it's like this up here. I think there's going to be a massive Aqualantis entrance sign just here at the top. In the middle. Yeah, you can tell the theme is not quite finished yet. It's getting there, but it's not quite done. And like I've said in various vlogs of Energy Landia, 10 years from now, this park will look even better because the trees will have grown up. That's my one thing about this park that does annoy me how you know the, the trees are all so small I know, can't wait for it to just babies. be grown up in like 10 years time and split all the areas up nicely in that mist. oh I know yeah the misters around the park is a great idea they've got everything covered here like the GoPro sign off um, of course the locker situation is pretty good oh, here we go oh you're feeling that viewers oh lovely all over the lens lovely wash the lens off um, but you can tell theme is to be completed like all this is just support structure isn't it anyway we're gonna go around let's have another go on that new vacoma shockwave oh i can't wait for this again it's a business whoa 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 we're supposed to be going on the coaster what are you doing i got a bit distracted well look at this over here <laughs> so you know how i love gummy whales look at this here we go with how cheap things are in poland i think that'd be about five quid for all that Full, full of gummy whales, love it. But uh, Charlotte's getting a pick and mix, then we'll go on a business again. You've got to make the most of it. And yeah, the theming's good here in the shop. Definitely some more bits to finish in the area. You can just tell the bits that are done and the bits that still need the work doing. Well, Charlotte's got a sweets, and just before we go and get in the queue for Abyssus, we just started the high dive show here, so we thought, well, we may as well watch this whilst we're heading down. With this show, there's no real arena for it or anything like that. Aqua jump just takes place here, right next to the coaster, which is quite interesting. Oh, we've got a countdown going on. Here we go. Oh, love it. What a great location for the show as well. Interesting how there's no like theater seating. Just kind of all stand down here, free for all, out the front of the coaster, which, yeah, fair enough, it works. It makes it quite interactive. I like how she's all dressed up there as well. Doing a bit of uh, commentary for the show. Showing a bit of a dance now, she's gone. Oh, we've lost her. What you got then, Charlotte? Oh, Worked out at £2.40 for all these. Th 13 slotty? Yeah, not too bad. What you got in there for me? Gummy cola brain. bottles. Oh, yes, love some cola bottles. Oh, there we go. Oh, is that here? I think it's done. All oh, right, it's only about a, a short little show then, is it? Oh, there you go. Two minutes. About a five, little five minute show, I think that. Like I say, because it's not got an arena, they must just do it every so often. But yeah, it literally only started a few minutes ago. So yeah, it must literally be the, do a few jumps and that's it for that one. More of a passing thing, isn't it, really? Yeah, I think it's more when you're passing through the area, to be honest. But oh no, she's back. Oh no, she's packing up. Speaker's going. Right, let's get on the business again. Busy around here now. You get some awesome views of the coaster wow. when you're heading down through the queue line here. And of course, Energylandia do build really long queue lines with their attractions. And Abyssus is no different. I'd say it's a little bit of a shorter queue line than Hyperion and also Zardra. But yeah, they've done a fantastic job with the theme and I do really like it. Like I say, there's still a few bits wow, that need finishing off, but in general, really like it but yeah i'm going to take you on again with another pov so i'm sure we'll get a different seat bit of a different perspective i don't know if we're allowed to wait for the front on this or not i would like a front row but we'll uh, see what we get yeah station looks great over there really nicely themed 
love all the interactions, of course, with the ride. Soundtrack's great as well. You know, the theming was done by a big company, um, Jorovision. They've done lots of fantastic theming over the years, so I knew they were going to be doing a good job with this. So talking of areas where they're still completing the theming, you can tell the same just here as well. So of course you've got the track that comes down this section, and then you've got just like the steel beams that are still exposed. So yeah, I reckon there's going to be some roofs coming over there. Oh, here she comes. Oh, what a beauty. I reckon she might have warmed up a bit now as well. Oh, so we managed to get a nice front row ride there on Abyssus. And I tell you what, that was a completely different ride to earlier on. That was actually really intense. <laughs> that was brilliant, that was. Like, either the fact that we're on the front row and it's more intense at the front, or it just hadn't warmed up at all this morning. Yeah, that was really intense. Take back what I said about formula now, it'll be know, more intense. Definitely. That was really, really good. Solid coaster on the front. I tell you what, it's a brilliant ride for this part. Yeah, really nice. You can tell there's quite a few areas, especially on the front, where there's still theming to be completed, quite and it'll make it even better. I think that sand is where water's supposed to be. I think so, from looking at it. Possibly that'll be like at the bottom of the water, maybe. But uh, I, honestly, it's a great ride. Really well themed, fantastic installation for this park. I'm hoping for maybe some more fountains effect and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, like the misses with fountains would be good. I remember on the original concept art and promotionals for it, it showed what looked to be like some chaser fountains down the launch. That'd so like really going up good. down the side, possibly something like that. There's more to come from this ride, but as a coaster itself and the theming package, it's a brilliant installation for this I park. Agree. I'd say that it's my third favorite coaster at this park after doing it a couple of times. Um, of course, I'd, I'd take you know Hyperion and Zardra at the top, followed by this. Uh, would you say it's third place for you? Or? Uh, I'm not too sure. I think there's a few more rides and a few different things to know where things are. Yeah, we've still got quite a few more bits to do. I mean, you've done the bigger rides today. Zardra's quite the Oh, it is a beauty, isn't it? But uh, whilst we're here, of course, in Aquilantis, just thought we'd take a look at some of the merchandise on offer because there's some lovely stuff. Got all your different water bottles down here for Abyssus. 25 Zlotti for those. Do really like these down here, there you go. Got the t-shirts just here, look at that. Really nice. Got the big jellyfish on there as well. <laughs> Love those, that's really nice as well. Oh, some really good branded stuff. There we go, got the big trident just there as well. Stand out the entrance to the ride with that. Coasterholic, there you go. Oh, I like that, Abyssus on the top. I'm not too keen how it's got the SLC on, <laughs> but no, it is a decent SLC to be fair. It's got your baby on there as well. Coasterholic, but yeah, some great stuff. We have Monopoly over here. Energy Landing Monopoly. We've on Monopoly, to be honest, because every shop there's about thousands of them. There is a lot of Monopoly here at Energy Landing. Yeah. Nice how they've got them though. Loads of great stuff on offer down here in the gift shop. Got a nice bit of street theatre around here. Hello! Hey! Think about all wide on YouTube. Check it out. <laughs> <laughs> gonna carry on walking down this way now because as much as you get distracted by Abyssus you've got so much more to discover in the new area looks great round here like all the columns this one how it's falling over that's quite a nice effect 
Now you've got quite a few different rides. Magic Pump down this way. Love a good Magic Pump here at Theme Park Worldwide. So we'll go and uh, check that out just down this way. Little spinning rides. Yeah, theming is very, very good. Just wanted to point out as well, I didn't feel the trim brakes as much on that time um, on the front row. Felt like, you know, you, you felt them more further back. To be honest, because I yeah. felt them quite a bit. Well, there's some nice effects over here. Oh, it's another ride. <laughs> Worth pointing out as well, the queue times are displayed around the park. They've got all different queue boards, um, similar to this one just here, giving you the information. But yeah, that's what we're coming to on uh, Saturday night, Magic Night. The park's home to the 11. Look at all the lights. Of course, we're going to be filming a vlog, getting some night rides. Never seen this park at night before. Oh, it's like a spinning splash battle that they've got just down there. With some nice water effects. And I must say, you get a great view looking back towards Abyssus. This is the maintenance shed just here. That definitely needs something doing with it. Even if it's just, a, I hate to say it, but just a vinyl is better than nothing. But I'd love them to do some nice artwork on there, maybe some paintwork to finish it off. But I'll tell you what, that view looking over here is pretty awesome. I'd say that's probably my favorite view in the area, to be honest, because you've got all these waterfalls down here in the foreground. And then you look out over towards the coaster. And yeah, that interaction that it's got with the area really is a fantastic ride for this park. What a great installation. It'll be perfect to see something like this at Alton Towers in the near future. Bear in mind, it's also a 1.2 metre height restriction. Now, of course, at the moment to get round here into Aqualantis, you have to walk round past Zardra. However, that will change in 2022 when they open their new themed area of Sweet Valley. And of course, I did show you this earlier on, but this is a bit of a different angle of it. Choco Chip Creek which is a Vacoma mine train. Love a good Vacoma at this part, don't they? And of course, they get deals, you know, like they've put in a business for this year, but they've definitely got like a deal on putting two Vacomas in. And of course, this one will be opening uh, next year here at the park. A long list of Vacoma rides at this park now. Um, but yeah, hopefully there's gonna be some theming added around here. I imagine there is. I mean, they've just put the track installation in. Uh, you gotta think it's much cheaper if they build a couple of coasters in one go as well. Um, and then of course, they can look at uh, doing all the theming afterwards. But yeah, you'll be able to walk straight uh, around into the area this way and of course round to the rest of Aqualantis and Abyssa. So yeah, at the moment it's a bit awkward to get to this area because you have to walk, like I say, round past Zardra, but that won't be the case next year because we'll be able to head round this way. Just want to say I absolutely love the atmosphere of this new area. It is by far the best themed area at this park. They've just done such a good job. And the trees are already quite mature down here as well. And now I keep going on about the trees. You're probably thinking, come on, Sean, you're like a gardener. Uh, but honestly, landscaping can really make or break a park for me. And I think this looks great. And this vista point just here, of Abyssus there in the background, all the different shops and restaurants that they've got. This large building on the left has got nothing inside yet, so I don't know what that's going to be in the future. Yeah, they've got lots of nice covered over seating, deck chairs, and they've got this little water play area over here. I'm just doing a bit of work. You're doing some pumping, are you? That's it, let's see Charlie. Oh, I've just trod in the water, doing some pumping. Lovely. And there you go, there's that Vacoma mine train oh, for next year. I've just done. So, I've just been and bought <laughs> water, and it's fizzy. Yeah. And it's horrible. And what did I say to you when you were getting Check it? That it's Still. Yeah, check that it's still and not so fizzy. this red sign must need fizzy. Even has fizzy water. Luckily it was less than a pound, so it's you haven't got to worry. Good, <laughs> I will drink it. <laughs> but yeah, I love this area. Honestly, this side of the park is incredible. Zarja over there and this new themed area. I tell you what, this park are really onto a winner. And next year, of course, they'll be opening their 18th coaster and possibly the 19th as well. Oh, here comes the beauty again. Oh, what an awesome view. That second launch just there, and trim break. <laughs> now I was saying just about on the concept art, there was gonna be some fountains following the launch. I reckon they're going in here. So yeah, I think this will be full of water soon and we'll have the jets in here squirting up in sync with the uh, launch. And yeah, I mentioned on the ride, you could tell in that front row POV, definitely gonna be a lot more water around the bottom of the coaster just there. But I'll tell you what, we've done loads so far, haven't we today? It's been a busy day and there's still a few hours to go until close. Yeah, We've got an hour extension. So I think we're going to take it a bit more easy this afternoon now. Yes. Maybe do yeah. a couple of nice little boat rides and stuff down yeah, the other side. Yeah, we can always maybe do another couple of smaller coasters later on. Grab some more food. Definitely, we'll take it as it comes. But that's all for Aqualantis for today. It's been really nice to come back down here, get another ride. Really enjoyed the uh, Grotto Expedition earlier as well. The theming's great. There's so much food. There's crepes over there. There's no, oh, it's yeah, amazing. Either. 
Like some sort of like big statue would be good. Yeah, yeah, I big agree. Big statue. Mm, definitely some finishing touches coming down here, yeah. but they've done a cracking job. Of course, Tidal Wave Twister will do that another day as well and take you along there for a POV. The uh, nicely themed Zampilla Disco, but of course more theming still to come at the side, 100%. Here we go then, while Charlotte's going to have a nice sit down, we'll have to take you all on this top spin just over here. Definitely not a huss this one, it's quite a small model, but it's got all the uh, fountains just out here at the front. I'm up for a flat ride, so yeah, let's go for it. Here we go, I'll take you on, it's got a zero minute wait. Lovely. Hooray! Here we go then, straight into it, on Apocalypto. Whoa! Oh, I held upside down on this one. Oh my god. <laughs> hey. Oh. Love hearing people's reactions on these. It's not the most comfortable, it's a bit rough. Hey. It's a real crowd pleaser there, everyone's standing out the front watching it. Not quite Talica at Fantasia Land, but it'll do. <laughs> Can you spot Charlotte? It's that over there. Hey. <laughs> what? It's like a proper torture device, this thing. Hey. Oh. oh my god. Ah. Not the smoothest of footage, this one. Do apologize. Because of the position of the restraint, the GoPro is like sticking up a little bit. Still secure, of course, but. Ah. Oh my god. Apocalypto! <laughs> really intense actually. Oh. <laughs> oh, I love it. We have really good operations here today as well. Everything's being filled up. Like I say, it just feels like normal to be honest. Really nice. Oi. Oh. <laughs> ah. oh, that was intense. Oh. Just holding us upside down. Ah. Crazy. Ah. Oh my god. Oh. I love how it just stops every so often. Right. <laughs> Whee! Oh, there we go. Apocalypto. Oh. oh, I tell you what, bit of a pain machine that is. Not very comfortable. And quite a long cycle on there as well. But uh, yeah, it's definitely worth going on if you come here to uh, Energylandia. Anyway, you know what, Charlotte? I've got something else for you just over here. Do you fancy another boomerang? Another one? Yeah, you did one earlier. Why not have the original one at this park? Might as well. And do you want to know the name of this one? What? It's called Boomerang. <laughs> so inventive. Here you go, 10 minute wait. Let's go and get on. Boomerang, here we go. <laughs> It's a front row ride. Here we go on the family boomerang called Boomerang. Up we go. Yeah, Charlotte likes how we're sat with the bat. Genuinely though, I think the reason why they built a second one of these is because this is probably the most popular of the family coasters that they've got. I saw this on 60 Minutes last time I was here. So I reckon that's why they built a second one. Let's go. Woo! Just through the tunnel, what a view, and back we go. Woo! Love this tunnel, there we go. Oh, and there we go. Nice little uh, front row ride with the bat. <laughs> Oh, well, after our ride there over on Boomerang, we just had some really nice fries. Yeah, it was lovely. I wanted, like, the mini waffles, but they didn't have any. But, sure. what other theme park can you go to where you can get a roasted knuckle? There you go, yeah. a roasted knuckle, available here at Energylandia, the Scandinavian restaurant there just here. Roasted knuckle. Roasted knuckle. I tell you what, we've had an awesome day, haven't we, today? Lovely day, sir. We've covered so much in this vlog as well. We've covered loads. And, and there's still so much more to see. We've we got more water rides, we've got shows, we've got more coasters even, yeah. like so much more to come. But I'll tell you what we're going to do, I think now, we're going to do another ride on Hyperion, aren't we? Zardra. And then we'll go and do Zardra again, and that'll probably do us for our vlog for today. Yeah, it will do. So yeah, we'll get a couple more re-rides. Like I say, I won't put any more on-ride footage in, because we've already shown you POVs from some of the boat today. But we will have some nighttime POVs coming up in the next oh, vlog. I can't wait for that. Riding till 11 o'clock. So yeah, we're going to have another ride on Hyperion whilst we're down here and end the day over on Zardra. And then of course we'll wrap up our day one vlog here from Energylandia in Poland, our first abroad theme park trip 
of the year. Honestly, it might be July, but finally we're in a broad park. And honestly, I'm just so happy to be here. We've had an awesome day. Honestly, we have just had an absolutely phenomenal ride on Zadra. It's breathtaking. Honestly, like we've had three rides on that now today, and that ride was incredible. Best ride I've had all year, it's to be honest. It just keeps giving and giving. Uh, honestly, I mean, I know we've not been abroad this year, so that's oh, not no. saying much, but honestly, that last ride was one of the best coaster rides I've ever had. Amazing. Especially after everything we've been through over the past year and a half. To get on a beast like that again was phenomenal. It really, really was. I remember last time I came here, of course, Zarja was the new ride. I remember thinking it was fantastic. I loved it, but Hyperion was probably still the ride for me at this park. Not anymore. After that ride tonight, Yay. it was hauling around the track, wasn't it? It was so fast. Honestly, it was brilliant. And we weren't even like dead on the back, were we? No, we wasn't. That was absolutely fantastic. It was a sunset ride. It was wonderful. And of it's course, roaring round. it is roaring round. Like, we're going to have lots more on ride footage coming in the other vlogs we're going to be filming this trip. So stay tuned for them. And we'll be getting a night ride on there Saturday. Honestly, I can't wait for a night ride on that. Never seen this park in the dark before. So I think it's going to be pretty stunning. But uh, of course, we'll do like a big wrap up at the end of yeah. it all, really. But just kind of a summary for today Charlotte the quick thoughts on Energylandia and favourite parts so my favourite part is obviously Sandra oh, what a but the whole park itself it's just like the gift that keeps on giving there's just so much and it's just a bit overwhelming like still I've got so much that I need to do yeah so many coasters water rides shows and of course the, the magic night event worth pointing out Brilliant. the water park is also included in the water park looks really good crazy yeah I might have a dip whilst we're here as well and check that out but operations have been great I mean you've seen just another train going really round on Zadra phenomenal really impressed this park considering it's like just over what, seven years old is crazy yeah. like, it really Amazing is job. this place like just keeps on getting better and better and then of course you think about Aqualantis and Abyssus a fantastic installation for this park it might not be a massive thrill ride however again it warms up throughout the day yeah it was quite intense actually. It, it was like that front row ride was brilliant on there but Zadra <gasps> that is the ride to come out to this park we are shattered aren't we I know, like, I'm tired. it's been a big day you've got to think we're not used to doing these long European hours we're not, definitely Back not in our parks in the UK you know we just don't have later closes and to do a 12 hour day in a park a day again like this yeah. like, it's been a lot to take in so we're going to go back to the western camp um, have a nice chill out and then of course we're going to be heading tomorrow to Legendia Ooh. so that'll be the next one a little break from Energylandia and then we'll be coming back of course for the big um, 11 o'clock close on Saturday but I'm so grateful to be able to do what we do thank you so much everyone no, for your we support appreciate it so much. just to be back doing what we love again don't get me wrong the UK parks are fantastic but there's something about coming abroad Broad, seeing everything and discovering these parks again so thank you so much for joining us parade's even coming along honestly it's crazy this place and the light leaves us with one final thing to say get, get out, out there and keep on riding Zodra baby see you tomorrow Bye.